times are committed all day long here in Jacksonville, but have you ever wondered what are the peak times? The I-Team has been digging into that question for the past several weeks, analyzing crime data which shows how Jacksonville residents are being victimized and just as important, when. And it seems the most common time for crimes to be committed aren't just the peak times here in Jacksonville. Gainesville police released this surveillance video from a burglary attempt today. You can see a man in broad daylight repeatedly trying to force his way through this door of that house. Of course, it can happen anywhere, anytime. Now the I-Team's Tarek Miner shows us what he uncovered about crime time. We wanted to find out when you are most likely to become the victim of a crime, whether it's a motor vehicle theft, burglary, aggravated assault, or robbery. So what we did was look at those crimes over a one-year period and the times that they occurred. What we found just might help you or a family member avoid being a victim. It's 7 a.m. on a Monday, a time when most working families are leaving their homes preparing to tackle another week at work. It's also the beginning of the prime time for home burglaries in Jacksonville. In fact, 802 families were victimized over a one-year period on a Monday, with more than 300 of those crimes happening between 7 and 11 a.m., according to JSO's online crime mapping tool. So he was basically waiting for you to go to work? Wait for me to go to work, and he'd break into the house. Cecil Tesper, who's legally blind in both eyes, subcontracts for the Florida Division of Blind Services, servicing and maintaining vending machines with the help of a paid driver. Some of the money from the machines goes back to the division so they can help the visually impaired. Tesper told police that his former employee, Craig Neal, preyed on his disability, breaking into his home 10 times over three months, stealing thousands of dollars worth in coins. Because I work awfully hard for what little bit of money I get to have somebody go around stealing all my stuff. That's not a very good feeling. And finally, uh, I got a, a surveillance, surveillance system, and I put a camera in this window, camera up there, camera up there, and a camera over in there in that window. Police say Neil was eventually captured on surveillance video, breaking into Tesmer's home on a Monday morning which led to the discovery that Neil was stealing from Tesmer's vending machines as well. What I got tallied now is over $8,000. An I-Team study of home burglaries committed from June 1, 2015 through May 30, 2016, reveals that Thursday is the second highest day for home break-ins, with the peak time being between the hours of 7 and 10 a.m. So when are you most likely to be the victim of a violent crime like a street robbery or a carjacking? Friday is the worst day for these crimes. But Sunday, around 10 p.m., is the high time for this kind of violence in Jacksonville. But according to JSO crime mapping statistics, even on weekdays between 9 p.m. and midnight, the chances of you becoming a victim of robbery increase. See, they came to me on the passenger side with the gun. He had the windows up, and they tapped. And they, he opened the door, and they punched him in his face. Get out of the car. Michael Yates, 15-year-old son, was one of three people carjacked within 48 hours by these four teenagers, according to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Police say the teens, ages 14 to 16, led them on two separate car chases before wrecking the stolen cars and ultimately traumatizing the victims. I don't feel safe anywhere. I, I'm checking everything when I come home. I'm making sure every time, making sure I'm double checking my locks. I'm double checking my car. I'm double checking everything. Out of the 1,669 robberies reported within a one year period in Jacksonville, statistics reveal 9 p.m. is the high time for this kind of crime. It's a similar picture for motor vehicle thefts, which peak on Fridays and Saturdays, as Jerry Gray can attest to. Uh, where they found the car over there was prostitutes. Uh, the car was full of trash. Uh, it just, it just crashed the car out. All kind of damage on it. Gray says his son's car was stolen and then recovered, but the criminal hasn't been brought to justice because he says police didn't have enough evidence. It's something that changed his outlook on his personal safety. I don't go out no more. I just don't do it. We showed crime and safety analyst Gil Smith our data and our findings. He says even though some crimes peak at certain times in Jacksonville, Locals should always be on guard. They can occur at any time, but especially for residential burglaries, 
most likely, they do not want to burglarize a home when someone is there. So it's usually between those work hours, between the hours of 9 and noon or between 9 and 5. And at night, the robberies, the street crimes, uh, they're, they're looking to escape. Exactly, especially with the robberies. A large number on Friday nights because Friday is when people get paid. They've cashed their checks. They may have been burglars or robbers think they have cash on hand. So that's their time to strike. Crime experts point out that there are two types of criminal offenders. Ones who leave home with the intention of committing a crime and others who seize on the opportunity that is right in front of them. So while it's important to know when crime peaks in Jacksonville, it is also imperative that you do everything you can in your personal life to not be an easy target, which really starts by watching what's happening around you and trying to stay one step ahead of those criminals. Tarek, you showed us the times and the day of the week when these crimes occurred. Did you find out anything about seasonal effects? Well, you know what? Summertime crime right now, it's the high time for burglaries. It is the high time for aggravated assaults and for auto thefts. The numbers again increase in the wintertime, especially around the holidays, because people tend to have more money on hand and more property in their homes. And also, speaking of summer, coming up tomorrow at 5 o'clock, crime and safety analyst Gil Smith is going to tell us the top five mistakes that homeowners make that can make themselves an easy victim in the summertime specifically. We will look forward to that. Thanks, Tarek.